Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Marcus Lapp with the Indie Music Lab, and today I want to show you a game-changing productivity hack. Hap. Oh god. <laughs> a productivity hack inside of Studio One, and that is by utilizing templates. Let's go. So if you're anything like me, you probably tend to use the same kind of tracks and virtual instruments every time you load up a new song to start a new demo. So with that in mind, why wouldn't you make a template that already has these things loaded up and ready to go for you since you almost always use them anyway? And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So if I open up Studio One and I click here to create a new song, instead of doing it just the normal way on an empty song, where here, you then have to load in everything. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna want some drums, so I'll pull in the drums and I'll pull in all of the other uh, instruments that I know that I'm going to use and then I have to like load up a track for my vocals and then add auto-tune like if I want to hear auto-tune to get my melodies down when I'm messing around with, with, with things like you get the point. There's a better way to do this guys. There's a better way to do this. So now I'm going to show you what my template looks like so you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. So when I create a new demo and I want to start a new song, I'll click on create a new song and I'll go down here to my demo project template, hit OK. And now... Not you so slow. So here's my template. All these things load up immediately when I'm ready to start my demo, which is extremely helpful. And, and I'll have to go through the entire, the, the same process every time and load up the same stuff because it's mostly the same things anyway. So why not have them loaded up, ready to go? So I have, you know, my drum, my go-to uh, drum VST instrument here, uh, which is addictive drums. And then I've got uh, an instance of impact here, which is just a sampler. So if I want to load up any samples, uh, um, especially drum samples, um, I'll do that with impact. And then my go to piano instrument uh, is addictive keys. So I've got that loaded and ready to go. And then we've got Omnisphere, which is my go to for any kind of synth sounds or even string sounds. It's an incredible library of sounds in Omnisphere. And then I've got an, an audio track for electric guitar, um, which is being sent to a bus where I have the amp or the virtual amp loaded and ready to go as well. So I've got that um, on this bus here. And then we've got two lead vocal tracks here that are both being sent to a lead vocal bus. I have here and then I've got the JJP vocals from waves which is especially helpful when I'm just recording in and I'm listening back um, it gives me a punchy vocal sound right off the bat um, without having to load up you know EQ and a compressor and like saturator all those things one plug-in and it's already loaded up and ready to rock and roll and then I've also got an auto tune here which I have turned off uh, by default because I don't know the key of the song yet that I'm doing um, that way I can adjust it and then just flip it on when I do want to use it. Now I have Autotune on here for the sole purpose of it really helps get my melodies down uh, because I'm hearing them in perfect pitch and it really helps me uh, use my voice a little bit more as like an instrument uh, when, I'm try when I'm playing around with melodies and Autotune, uh, a really tight Autotune really can help facilitate that. And then lastly, all the way over here on the right, I've got two effects channels, also known as return tracks. One of them is for a plate reverb. This is little plate. And then I've, I've got an EQ after that to take away the highs and the lows, which is like a default setting of mine. And then we've also got a delay set up here, which is just a wide quarter note delay. And then with some reverb on the delay to give that delay a little bit more space. And then I'm sending this lead vocal to both the plate reverb and the delay. Um, that way, as soon as I go to record a demo vocal and I want to get a vocal take in, I've, al I'm, I've already got this loaded up with my JJP, my auto-tune, and it's already being sent to a plate reverb and a quarter note delay. So I get a big, beautiful vocal sound right off the bat without me having to pull in and drag and drop a bunch of stuff to make that happen when I just want to get a quick takedown. Okay, so that's my template, but yours does not have to look at all like mine. You just need to figure out for yourself 
what are the instruments and the tracks and the effects that are your go-to that you always start with that you know nine times out of ten you're going to use this at some point early in the process of creating your song and then make a template out of that so that you can get your session started faster without having to waste any brain cells to get stuff into your session to start recording. So now let's just go back to a clean slate and I wanna show you how to set up and save your template for repeated use. So if I click again on create a new song and we're just gonna empty because we're gonna create a template now. So now you can just pull in whichever instruments, whichever samplers or anything else that you always tend to start with and you always use early in the demo process and just get those things loaded up, you know, so if I have an impact here, I know that I almost always use drum samples and I'll load that up, I'll add an audio track for my vocals, and so on and so forth. So now, if this was my template and I wanted to save this, all you need to do is go up to File, Save as Template, name it, and then hit OK, or, to, or you can replace an existing one to overwrite an existing one and you are good to go. So now, when you start a new demo, all you need to do is go in here, click on create a new song, and your template that you created is going to show up here. So then you can hit that, and you're gonna be ready to go with all of your go-to tracks and instruments loaded up, ready to rock and roll. And this is a huge time saver, it's a game changer, and I 11 out of 10 recommend that you implement this. All right, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how I create songs and how I produce them from start to finish, I've got a free guide in the description below. It's called A Five-Step Guide for Producing Wow Factor Indie Music. It's absolutely free, so check that out if you wanna learn more about what goes on with a song and how a song is constructed from start to finish, or at least, mostly how most of my songs go through that process so it's there for you in the description and i will see you in the next video see ya